Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I wanted to talk about how you can get more out of a LUT in DaVinci Resolve and this can basically go for any other type of software. Uh, most NLEs that you can basically change the gain input of a LUT. But I wanted to talk about this because recently I was doing an edit and I noticed that the LUT that I was applying was a little bit too strong. Now, one of the things about LUTs is, of course, you want the basic look, but you obviously want the customization above that where you can easily change the things you want and, of course, dial it into where you want it to be. So I'm going to take a look at this clip right here. This is a nice clip. Um, of course, the LUT looks good. Um, you know, it's just like a teal and orangey type of LUT. Uh, it's one of the LUTify ones. But one of the things is maybe I thought it's a little bit too strong and maybe the oranges are a little too much and the teals are too much and I don't want to do a qualifier and I just want to pull the full LUT level down. And this is great when you have a LUT that's like super intense and you love the look, but it's just too much. So in DaVinci Resolve, there's an easy way that you can actually change this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this thing right here that says Key. Now, when you have your LUT selected, so I have my node selected with my LUT, I'm going to go here, click on key, and this is going to show me all of the node key settings. Now, the only one that we actually have to care about is our key output, and this is the gain. This is basically the opacity or the gain of this, this node. So now you could do this with anything. So let's say you wanted to add like a green tint or something. You could then, you know, pull it back. But let's say I just wanted 50% of that. So I'm going to just drag that on down and you can see it darken up to roughly 50%. And again, you can see that especially down here in the clip and in her skin, the orange is less intense, but we're still getting some of that look. So you see if we go back to one, whoops, back to one. Again, you can see it's pretty intense. If we do about half, you can see it's still there. This is with it off. But again, we're just getting a little bit less of it. And this is really a great way to customize LUTs. Let's try another one. So this time I'm going to do this one from scratch. So I'm going to go to my LUTs. So if, actually, if you don't know, I have a LUT pack on the our website. It's $5.99, so it's only 6 bucks for the pack of LUTs. Try to make it as cheap as possible. And I do have some coming soon for weddings. So if you want a wedding LUT pack and if you're excited for that, let me know down in the comments below. So we're going to do, um, let's see, we want to do a stylized one for Vlog. Let's do like the, maybe the high-key saturation. No. Let's do the old browning film. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is now actually what we do, the real way to do this is we'd make another node and then we'd apply this to that node. So in this case, let's say I wanted that look, but it's let's say it's just a little bit too much again. We can just pull it back. And let's say I want to do this one at 75%, 0.75, boom. So again, we're just pulling it back and this is a really great way to add certain characteristics of a LUT without really going overboard with the entire LUT. Again, it's great if I like to really do it, especially if there's like a look that's embedded in the shadows and highlights. You can easily apply to the clip and then you can, of course, just drop that opacity down and that gain down, which, of course, just offsets it a little bit where you can still have that look in maybe your shadows. Like if you want like this where it's like a brown kind of in the shadows, um, it's still there, but it's it, it's not as pungent if you don't want that type of look. And of course, if we check this clip, we can apply grade and again. It looks nice. If we were at one, you know, it looks maybe a little brown, a little too contrasty. We could even try like 0.65. Um, that's probably not enough. 0.75 again. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's just a really, really quick way to adjust the gain of your LUT or any node. Again, this goes for anything. So you could have any type of uh, open effects on there or color or whatever you want to do. And that's just an easy way to adjust it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. And again, if you're looking for that LUT pack, if you do want to see that wedding LUT pack, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see in it. I'm kind of just starting to work on some of the basics now. But uh, again, I'm going to try to keep the cost as absolutely cheap as possible. That way you guys can get some great LUTs at a great price. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.